Hey, Tom Hegney here. You know, I often talk about how important it is to tell stories and how people remember stories. They listen to stories. They don't remember facts. They don't remember figures. They don't remember illustrations, but they will remember stories. And some of my favorite stories, many of you have heard me talk about the story of the, the family that was driving through the desert and all of a sudden they discovered that the tank was, you know, almost empty and and how it related running out of gas in the desert is, is very similar to running out of money in retirement. And that sticks with people. I talk about the woman who thought she was a millionaire. Her husband died suddenly. She got a million dollar death claim. She thought she, thought she was a millionaire, but in this low interest rate environment, you know, it was really only about $38,000 a year. It wasn't a million dollars. And, and you can't build a custom home on $38,000 a year. And again, that one resonates with a lot of people. When I was in advisor, you know, I'd be on appointments and some people don't want to give you their information. They just, they just, they're very private. They don't want to tell you anything. And so I would take that opportunity to tell stories. And I'd, I'd tell a story about a person down the road that I was able to help who had, you know, $200,000 in a CD and they weren't happy with the interest rate. And I was able to get them a higher rate in an annuity, uh, get tax deferred income. They were paying tax on 85% of their social security benefits, I got them down to zero. And I would, I would tell the story, a success story that I had with somebody. And then the person would say, okay, well, what if you had 400,000? What would you do with that? And, and then that's their way of telling you they have $400,000. And I would, I would then just go right into an appointment. So I think it's so important to learn how to tell stories. If you don't know how to tell stories, you can borrow my, some of my stories or borrow Van Miller stories or borrow Curtis Cloak stories. There's a lot of people out there telling powerful stories. Uh, also, tell your success stories. When you were able to help somebody, just share what you were able to do with them. All of these stories are very powerful. They'll help you sell more. Uh, remember, telling is not selling. Listening is selling. Asking is selling. And telling stories is selling. So I hope that helps. Uh, and I'll see you soon. If you want to know how to become a top producer, I would encourage you to read what other top producers have done to become top producers. And I put that into a book, Retirement Income Masters, 14 of the top producers in the United States. And each chapter is their story. What do they say? What are their questions? You know, uh, how do they handle objections? So we're running a special. It's going to be a limited time special for Retirement Income Masters. I encourage you to pick up a copy and read it.